Hi, hello, this is Alan, the Forex Algo Trader. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to create enumeration data types of variables in Meta Quotes Language Editor. So, basically, an enumeration is a data type that consists of a set of named values that represent integral constants known as enumeration constants. So, maybe to get started right away, you just want to open the meta editor for you so click click on ide this little icon over here the ide icon which will open meta editor for you so once the meta editor is opened let us now expand on this experts folder click on the mql5 language basics folder click on new to create a new expert advisor so expert advisor from template click on next and then let us now provide the name for our expert advisor for our MQL5 name, file, file name. So maybe the name that you want is the enum, enumeration, or enumerations. No, let us just go with the enumerations. The one maybe yeah, for our name, then click on next, next and finish. So let me just expand this one and basically move this one down. So what we had already said is that the enum just maybe as a description, enumeration, enumeration, maybe it is, it is a complete ordered, ordered listing. Of, a, of all the, the maybe of all the maybe maybe items in a collection in this case in a collection so the data of the enum type belongs to a certain limited set of data so the enum maybe you can basically create a, a prototype of what an enumeration is so in a we'll just go with in this case now let us say here that this is not the inner prototype the enum prototype basically this is what it will look like so in a, the name of the enumerable values so provide the name of the Enumerable, enumerable type in this case, then carry brackets to create now the body of our inner. Then you list all the type, the values. So list of values. The end, this one with the semicolon in that case. So maybe to get started, you can maybe create a uh, maybe as a bonus for you in this case it is that the list the list of the values of the enum values in this case of the enumeration values so the list of the enumeration values is a list of val variables it's a list of variables separated by a comma separated by a, by a comma or by commas in this case since you can maybe consider to create a bigger so maybe to get started we can create our own enum type so enum enum something enum something what maybe provide a list of conditions so <laughs> let, let us just call it in a conditions in a conditions no it, we are supposed to put now the curry brackets over here and then press tab on a keyboard to move three spaces ahead and maybe maybe create in a condition maybe condition one condition number one no it should now be separated by a comma then move to the next condition the list of values in this case of the enum conditions so condition two 
separated by a comma then condition number three maybe maybe let us just put in the last one maybe condition not in that case so condition condition four so if we right now we want to add that number condition number four on this enum list of hours over here of this collection of hours so since we want to end there we, we do not put a comma after that one we just leave it without the comma then end it with a semicolon so maybe to illustrate this in a bit let us comment this one out using the multi-line comment which will comment the bigger part for us eh? and then compile this one so right now it compiles fine so you can see it compiles fine right now but if we choose to leave this one out the program will try to interpret this enumeration of hours that we have defined over here as a function in this case and since it is not a function if we try to compile it we, it will bring us errors since it is not a function so if it uh, describes it is it is described this one as a defined variable so an example is a maybe let us create a double one double d is equals to maybe 100 maybe 200 then try to compile this one again so let me just put this one in this okay okay type posture so you can see this one is this one is now a double variable this is now not a function so if we leave out the comma it, the system the compiler would interpret interpret that one as uh, as not a function in this case which is now very wrong so i think that one is clear now so let us compile that one let us now maybe implement this one on a strategy on another inbuilt mql5 function so let us now implement it on the on init function which will render all of the other functions useless so right now we want the on init function we want to call this one on the on init function in this case so let us now maybe maybe put it maybe put it in what manner maybe put it in what manner so if, uh, let us now basically print this one to the user so the user can choose what to put in this in this case so if in so we do that by putting in the input then input type of enumeration in um, in this case so if it was a double input double input integer but right now we have already defined our enumeration so we go with the enum enum conditions it already comes over there enum conditions then provide the name of our enumeration in this case so let us now input our name for enumeration so put in the condition no select no let us go with selected condition selected condition is equals to maybe condition number one as now the default one so right now this one looks too complicating so i'll just comment this one out in a bit and then come over here again and see and show you what this input something mean so it, it just provides makes the computer the inside computer things available for manipulation to the user on the user interface so may, maybe let us just put this one input input is now standard then maybe integer input integer let us now give a name to our integer maybe input integer let us just give it i no integer integer name the or integer value is equals to maybe one in this case then end with the semicolon so 
right now we can maybe compile this one and it compiles fine let us now go to the input section on the strategy tester and see what this does so go to the enumerations go to the enumerations one then click on here on the inputs so you can see now the integer value is now provided so the user can manipulate this integer maybe change it to 100 and use 100 in this case so basically that is what it does so maybe the user can now change this one to 600 and so on and so forth so let us now not start but go back and show you what that one means so from there what you can do now is that uh, we just comment this one out because that was for illustration purposes what we what we really need in this case is now the enumeration type so you can see basically that is what it does so if we compile this one again and go to the strategy tester you can see now it avails us the condition where you can choose the user can now choose between now these four provided conditions one two condition three and condition four in this case so you can see this is now what this this looks different to the other one let me just actually leave this one on and see what it does what do we really what we are really talking about here so on the integer type you can see the user now just puts in maybe basically uh, just anything the user can just put in anything you know any type of number any type of an integer provided it is an integer in this case without the, the double so you can see the user now can put any type of integer but in this case since we had already provided an enumeration condition over there the user is now allowed to put a variety of conditions maybe yes no wait such type of conditions maybe trade now trade that these are trade that our one our two our three our four in that case the it is just an ordered listing you see just as we defined it it is a complete ordered listing of all the items in a collection maybe maybe you can choose here from january to december january february march april may june july august september october november december in that manner you know yeah so let us now go back and comment this one out maybe i i just now believe that one is okay it is clear to everyone so let us now write a condition over here and see exactly what this does so if if uh, let us provide an if statement over here if enum if selected if selected condition is equals to condition 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 maybe let us go with one then print then print just like moving a tab ahead to make the code look more sexier then print selected selected condition is one in this case selected condition is one in this case then that two then else let us now provide the other part of the else statement so else maybe print print uh, uh, selected condition is not maybe let me just copy that one over there instead of just typing it all again selected condition is not in caps one then end it with the semicolon then compile compiles file let us now just run it so let us now select condition number one and see the printout to the journal so if we start the system in the init function it says that selected condition is one in that case and that is very true let us now change it to condition number two or any other condition and see the printout it now says that condition 
selected condition is not one in that case which is also very true so basically right now you understand what our code means in this case and that is now the list of conditions that we are we choose so let us now maybe choose this one to maybe you can choose to from maybe january let us just maybe change this one to the day of months no no maybe even the day of weeks so if monday tuesday uh, wednesday thursday and as well as friday let us just maybe go by with the the monday tuesday wednesday does and friday and then select our condition over here let me just change this one condition to maybe selected condition is equals to maybe monday in this case let us just go with the default condition of monday then right right click i uh, mean not right click but select or input here that if selected condition is equals to monday monday or uh, if selected condition maybe copy and if selected condition is equals to tuesday this will be in a bit and then or another if statement here maybe tuesday then wednesday or just want to illustrate something thursday thursday then friday this is basically you, you well, how you use the general knowledge that i am teaching right now to create complex expert advisors that are that that are worth too much money a thousand code from just the basic condition that you have provided here that we are just doing so if selected condition is uh, so print that uh, selected condition is that it is on a weekday yeah that sounds good to me so let me just print it here that if one if either of the selected conditions is the on a thursday if then print that uh, it is on a A weekday trading is is allowed so <laughs> this is now becoming more fun to do you see else print that it is on a weekend weekend trading is not it's not allowed trading is not allowed so if either one of the conditions here is not either from monday to tuesday to friday in that case print that it is on a weekend either in either way so right here let us now add to these conditions that you can see now everything is now formatable everything you can maybe choose to add anything so print on saturday saturday as well as now on maybe sunday then compile this one and go to the strategy test and test this one so selected condition let us now choose monday and see what the program prints on the journal so it says that on the init function it is on a weekday 
trading is allowed since we selected uh, a weekday day so let us now maybe try to choose on a sunday in this case and start the expert advisor strategy test and see what it prints out for us so you can see it is it is on a weekend trading is not allowed so you can see basically that is all what the this enumeration type of data variable does data data type does in this case so you can see you provided too many conditions over here you over here from the expert advice it is just a simple thing a simple thing that you can do and we you can see that we created a super super high powerful expert advisor in this case so you can just do something something more of more fun what what is of more importance here is you understand what the enumeration type of data variable does in this case so it just provides you with the with an order with a complete order listing of all the items in a collection that you want to provide to the expert advisor to execute in this case so that is all i hope you enjoyed the video that the video was uh, educative and in this case as you can see i never expected it to be so long but i just literally had to do so that you could understand so that is now the end of the lesson bye bye and have a nice trading activity ahead of you so thank you